15 beginner tips in LEGO Fortnite. Let's get started. And our first tip is going to be talking about how to get more hearts in the game. So you're going to have to create these things called health charms. They do come in all types of rarities, but you do have to upgrade your crafting bench based upon what kind of rarity health charm that you want. And depending on the rarity, it gives you more and more hearts. So as you can see here in this gameplay, this one extra health charm, this uncommon one, gets me two extra hearts. Now I have five hearts worth of health. This second tip is going to be a very quick one, and it's basically how you can kill some sand monsters if you have water nearby. So, as you can see here, the sand roller will die instantly upon touching the water, and this also does the same thing with sand wolves as well. If you ever find yourself in the shores biome, be sure to let the dynamite pirates kill the other pirates for you, so you don't actually have to go and fight them, because these guys will basically do the trick for you. It's kind of like creepers in Minecraft and they just blow up all the other monsters. Pretty much the same thing. There are currently six biomes in the game of LEGO Minecraft and those biomes are grasslands, drylands, frostlands, caves, water, and shores. So yeah, oddly enough, caves and water are considered their own biomes. Kind of odd, but yeah, technically they do count. There are six biomes in the game. You should definitely cook food because eating cooked food is very, very good for you. So as you can see here in this clip, I now have these two extra faint hearts there and it's because I'm eating grilled meat. Now these hearts won't last forever, but it does give you some extra hit points of damage. And not only does it do that, but it does a pretty good job at filling up your hunger bar as well. So I would definitely recommend uh, getting cooked food as fast as possible. Maybe even get a villager to be on the grill for you because that's very helpful as well Because I'll be honest man eating these pumpkins ain't gonna do it Our next tip is going to be about how to stay warm when you're in the Frostlands biome So there are many ways to do it You can use torches and campfires and you can even eat spicy stuff like peppers and stuff like that But from my experience you're going to need to have multiple of these things going on at once in order for you to stay warm The freezing especially is just unrelenting in this game. So when it comes to staying Staying cool in the desert biome, you're going to need to have some snowberries, in my opinion, some snowberry shakes. You can even have the cool headed charm as well. That's another charm that you can make. And, you know, just generally some stuff that keeps you cool while you're walking around in the drylands biome, because that is no joke. You should definitely build some walls around your village. I like to use this line here, and you will see this line once you build a village square. But I basically just build a wall all around the village square, right? I mean, you might as well, right? I don't see why you wouldn't want to build a wall, because it's just going to keep you more safe and more protected. So, yeah, definitely would recommend building a wall if you have not already. This next tip is going to be going over items that are exclusively found in the drylands. So in order for you to further progress, you have to go to the drylands to get some of these materials. So for example, you will be able to mine copper in the caves of the drylands. You can mine rough ruby, obsidian, and bright core from lava caves. And you can mine flex wood by mining cacti on the surface. And in order to find rough amber, you're going to have to mine these things up here that you can see in this gameplay on top of these mesa plateaus. And now we're going to do the same thing for the frostlands biome. And there's a lot less than the drylands. So you'll be able to mine iron in the dry valley part of the frostlands. And you can also find rough sapphire while you're down there in the caves. You can find frost pines just on the surface as you can see here. And you can find malachite. I think that's how you pronounce it on the edge of the mountains and next up will be a quick overview of the shores biome it's basically just it's kind of like a desert in the way that sand wolves and sand rollers can spawn here but it's not really that much different i mean you're not going to be hot here so you don't need like any cooling charms or any you know snowberries or anything like that so i mean it's kind of just there it's not like a super special biome but i guess it looks kind of cool if you ever plan to adventure out to some of these more extreme biomes, you are definitely going to need to have some peppers or some snowberries or something that can counter whatever conditions that you're in. So for example, if you go to the Frostlands, you're going to need to have peppers, some type of spicy food. If you're going to the desert, you're going to need to have some type of things to cool you off. So I definitely recommend that if you, if you start farming, especially early on, you should definitely start farming peppers and snowberries because those things are honestly game changers. You don't necessarily have to risk your own life to kill some of the harder mobs. You can just get mobs to kill other mobs. So for example, as you can see here, I managed to get a skeleton to kill that sand wolf there and it got 
got me my first few sand claws that I needed, which was absolutely incredible. That was literally the best thing ever. It literally, it actually saved me because as you can see here, I only have three hearts. It was pretty rough. So yeah, definitely utilize this opportunity if you can. So you're going to need higher level tools the more you progress throughout the game. So for example, don't expect to show up to a cave and start mining up some not wood with a common axe because it ain't going to happen, right? You're going to need to have an uncommon axe. The same thing goes for marble. You're going to need to have an uncommon pickaxe for marble and it just progresses from there. So if you want to start mining sapphire and some other things, you're going to need to have higher rarity pickaxes, high rarity axes for high rarity wood, basically that whole idea. And it's going to require you to go to different biomes because you're going to have to get specific parts to upgrade your crafting bench. So yeah, definitely I would recommend you have to upgrade that stuff as quick as you possibly can because otherwise it's going to stunt the progression throughout the game. Now this last tip is actually better if you're going mining, I guess, but you can throw torches. I actually didn't know this until yesterday. Yeah, you can actually throw torches. So if you're going through a cave, if you're going through a dangerous area, you could always just throw torches into the area and see what lies ahead. I mean, it, why not, right? It seems like a logical thing to do, and it's a pretty basic, simple tip. You can always pick up your torches later on. That is going to be 15 tips and tricks for beginners here in LEGO Fortnite. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and do all that amazing stuff. You guys seem to really like my previous video. It's my most popular video I ever made on the channel doing tips and tricks, so I'm gonna try to do it again. All right, look, you gotta do what works, you know what I'm saying? So uh, yeah, please be sure to subscribe because I have some pretty, Pretty good stuff planned uh, for this game, so I'll uh, I'll see you all in the next one.